What's going on, E Nation fans? This is EFS48 here. Welcome back to yet another diecast review. And once again, it is another IndyCar diecast. And this diecast review is going to be at Sebastian Bourdais 2017 um, Dale Coin Racing uh, Honda Delara from, of course, Dale Coin Racing was Bourdais with, with was with Dale Coin Racing for two years after being with KV Racing, but they shut down at the end 2016. So, yeah. Um, I got this from my good friend Colin. Um, uh, AKA Newman Haas on Instagram. So, if you want to, like, like follow his stuff, you can subscribe to his YouTube channel and Instagram. Links in the description below. He got me this diecast because, well, not only because he's a big Sebastian Bourdais fan, but also because he has this car, but this is, like, an extra I don't know how many extras he had. I think this was like, I think he had like two. Like this is, like this is the extra or more. I don't know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Colin, if you're watching this video. But um, yeah. So Colin, if you're watching this, thank you so much for giving me this diecast. It's very, very awesome. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much is rare. So yeah. So on the box, uh, Sebastian Borde, number eighteen, Dale Coin Racing. You got the 2016 Indy 500. Uh, background as they're getting ready to start the 100s running of the, of the greatest spectacle in racing. You got the Verizon IndyCar Series logo. Got the Verizon IndyCar Series logo once again. Green light collectibles. You got Sebastian Bourdais car number 18. Sebastian Bourdais with the Verizon IndyCar logos. Limited edition diecast metal chassis 164 8 plus contains one diecast one trading card. Um... Uh, once again, you got green light. You got 8 plus, 164. Contains one diecast card, one trading card. Dale Coin Racing, Sebastian Bourdais, Dale Coin Racing, number 18. Rise of IndyCar Series logo. And then you got his birthday, hometown, and a resident of St. Petersburg. Ironically, he won St. Petersburg two years in a row, 2017, 2018, with Dale Coin. So, yeah. So, if you want to read um the the card and all that here you go you can just give it a pause for a second and yeah you got the Verizon IndyCar Studios logo once again www.greenlightcollectibles.com you got the copyright stuff made in China confirms to the safety requirements of AST F963 I don't know why I read that Indianapolis Motor Speedway product logo official product IndyCar Delara Firestone GM Honda um, you got the uh, hologram IndyCar logo. You got the websites, got the barcode, and all that fun stuff. Oh my god, that was a long box review. I apologize for that. I know you're not here for the box. You're here for the die cast. Alright, so let's get this baby out of its box. Alright. Alright. Oh. Oh crap, uh, trying to get this opened up. Oh crap, hang on. Uh, I knew something like this would happen. Hang on. Oh, these scissors are stuck in my thumb. All right, there we go. Now we just need to cut up the other side of the box and then this baby will be open. I do apologize for like, Mm, making this long like for like the introduction the box review and then opening this up i didn't mean to it happened it's an indie card die not an ass card die cast and speaking of indie card die cast oh new cars tomorrow oh my god look at this it is here it is here out of this box it is the sebastian bourdais 2017 dale coin racing car and I assume like this was ran before, like this was ran one of the 2017 Indy 500 practices because I know like he has Sunny Barbecue in St. Pete. I don't know what else he had for Dale Coin Racing before like the Indy 500 practice. Then he had Geico as a sponsor until he suffered his uh, until he suffered a um, horrible crash during qualifying of the 2017 Indy 500. Which they, uh, James Davison took over, but he was but Davison was caught up in a five car wreck at the Indy 500 at nearly the end of the race. Sadly, caught up willpower too, so rip. But yeah, very 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 interesting livery. 
So here we got Dale Coin Racing. You got number 18. You got the P1 award. Did he win a pole in 2017? I don't know. I thought it was like a P1 award logo. I don't know. We got Verizon Firestone. Got Sunoco. You got the um what's that called? The the um, fucking hell the I know you put like gas in here. That's all I know. I don't know what's it called. I'm an idiot. And you got the lead panels. Remember those? I missed those to be honest. You got the what the fuck happened to the Verizon Decar series logo? I don't know. But there's the Verizon logo. The Verizon IndyCar series logo, I guess. And you got Honda. And look at this right here. Look, these are the exhaust pipes. This is very cool. These are the exhaust pipes when you when drivers like switch gears and all that. Very amazing. And then you got Del Coin Racing here. You got the 18. You got Aurora, Honda, Verizon IndyCar series. Um what does that say? St and steel? I can't tell. And you got A, I think. And you got the Lara. Uh, you got nothing on the front wings as sponsors because, well, Dale, Dale Coin is a um, one of those underdog teams, might I add. So, yeah. Oh, and then you got the, got the Dale Coin Racing logos and the 18 on the rear pods. Um... And then on the rear wing, you got, what is it? I can't really tell. I can't tell what that says, so I apologize for not reading that. Whew. I gotta say, to have this diecast, it's amazing. It is a very unique livery. Like, it's awesome as a, um, um, like an underdog standard, like I I like how it's simple. I like how like there's like red lines all over. Mainly a white car. And um I love how there's like red over here on the pod as well. And are these the uh, bouncy pods? I don't know. Yep, pretty much. Um Yeah, like you got the chrome wheels, that's awesome too. It's a shame that uh, Borde uh, was out for like nearly, I think like most half of the season, but then he came back for like Gateway, Watkins Glen, and Sonoma. But I think he was like a early championship contender before uh, he had his Indy 500 crash. I'm not 100% sure, but imagine if Borde didn't have his Indy 500 crash. Like, would he still be a championship contender or top 10 in points? That's the thing. We don't know what happened. We don't know. So, what could have been, right? And, um, yeah, again, um, I think James Davison, uh, I think Davison did other races besides the 500. I don't know. RC Anderson was in the car as well. Um, uh, I can't tell. What was his last name? Like, I mean, his his last name is Gonzalez. I don't know. I know there was, like, other drivers replacing Borde while Borde was recovering from his crash. There was, like, three drivers. D James Davison. Um, R.C. Anderson. I know it's not Victor Gonzalez Jr. No, no, not the Puerto Rican race car driver. I know it was somebody else, but I don't remember, like, the full name. So, I guess I gotta research that after after this review. So, yeah. Very cool library. And, yeah, it's one of those rare diecasts. I assume it's pretty rare. Pretty much hard to find or something. I don't know. But, Colin, once again, thank you so much for giving me this diecast. Very awesome. I promise I will take good care of this car it will be safe and um yeah also uh channel updates um uh there will not be a new episode of racing stories tomorrow um well because like i did like the first seven episodes um like weekly even though i did the last episode like thursday um i guess i'm back to doing normal racing stories videos when i can whenever i can just upload whenever i can Instead of just doing it weekly. So hopefully like I can try my best to like start 
um, to start an episode. I do have something coming up next month. It is something personal. Everything's fine, by the way. I do have something coming up. It is personal, so I will not reveal that yet. So, yeah. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my... Uh, no, fuck that. I mean, if you want to follow my, my social accounts, like Instagram and all that, go ahead. But who cares about social media, to be honest. But um, don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content and more diecast reviews or diecast videos. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting your nation. This is Impress48 signing off. Once again, thank you, Colin, for this wonderful, wonderful diecast. Goodbye, everybody.